um, we're mega busy, so I've been trying to get this video created with Zoe, but she's in work a lot and she's super tired, so she's gone to bed, so I thought I'm going to put my Christmas hat on and I'm going to sit next to a stack of presents and I'm going to show you this awesome cool product that we've been sent. So there's an online store called Pink Pretty Gifted. They sell personalised wrapping paper. I've got a whole bunch of it here. Um, you can just you can design. I'll hold one up. You can design. You can design the colour of the paper, the colour of the um, print, the font, the style of font, and you can pick. A symbol to go in the middle of it like this one's got Christmas trees um, and you can say whatever you want on them so this is a lovely gold one that just says have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year nice big sheets um, and they're really easy to use I'm going to roll that one out um, we've got another gold one here that says um, all I want for Christmas is you. And this is a cool one. I really like this one. Um, this is George's edition. It says, turdiest time of the year because he believes at Christmas we eat tons of vegetables so we just spend the whole time pooping. Um, and that's green and black and I'm gonna let him use that one so I won't be using that one today um, and then we've got Merry Christmas to Filthy Animal that's pretty awesome the red's really effective for gold I think the red is really Christmassy with the red and gold um, Um, Merry Christmas everyone. Is that a little Christmas tree? Um, and then... We've just got a plain pink Merry Christmas. I think I'll be using this to wrap Zoe's presents. Um, because she loves girly colours. And that is a beautiful thing. That can be for her presents. Um, and then we've got... It's Christmas! I designed this one. It's Christmas! And um, that's got little arrows, so I'll use that one now, actually. And then the last one is Have a jo Holly Jolly Christmas. I can't remember which ones I designed. I'm going to try and save a few because the kids really want to um, use them to wrap as well. I'm literally surrounded by wrapping paper, you just can't see it. Um, I've got some kit gifts that um, I managed to get for the kids. I bought this one off Amazon. Um, super awesome. It was on sale. We went into the Black Friday sale knowing what we wanted so we didn't spend that much we bought the things that we wanted we wanted things like this i think this was like almost half price so this is going to be a gift for the kids to share at christmas they can build different things together um so i'm gonna now have a little go at using the paper to wrap this with so i mean when you've got like something this shape it is pretty easy to wrap doesn't fit that way so you always check <laughs> so it does fit this way so I think it's important to get it nice and lined up I might put this over a little bit more now I'll admit I'm not the wrapper this is why I wanted Zoe involved I'm going to do my best but I'm Zoe is so good at wrapping stuff but um, I like to decorate. That's probably where my strength is. I received this years ago. Oh, it's come out. I received this years ago um, as part of 
part of a review. You spin that. And the tape, the tape goes around. You get it in little, it comes off in little pieces. And I love it. It's like a Christmas. It just comes out and it's just like the best thing ever. Um, so I'm going to make sure that's central. Now, Zoe does it in different fancy ways. She sometimes does that. I'm going to go for the classic. down technique pinch it down um this pretty gifted paper is really lovely to work with as well like really easy to work with um and it's finished there mm. and then i get torn do i fold that i think i'm going to fold it over and then tape it and that's nice and neat i'm just gonna push that down I'm going to do the top bit from above. And I'm going to take the top bit. It's nice and neat. I'm going to add a little bit more tape. Just neaten it up. I mean, it just looks absolutely stunning. Um, some tape there. So that's my finished box. Yes, look how rainbow he is. Now, when it comes to decorating, there's a few different ways. <clears throat> I think I'm going to do this one with tape. Um, and all I do is, I take the tape, take the present, and I pick somewhere. You can go in the middle if you want. I like to do edges, and I line it up as straight as possible. And this probably isn't going to be straight, because I can't really see what I'm doing. And that, press that down. And then, just go around the edge. That doesn't look straight at all, does it? On the edge, <laughs> and then all the way up until you join the other side, and then you kind of choose which side looks the neatest. I'm going to go with this side, um, and then you put some more again. I've just done that. And then go all the way around. And it looks like that. And then you've got, with your pretty gifted um, wrapping, you get little gift tags to go with it. Um, and you always get a silver pen as well, which is awesome. So I'm just going to write a little note to George and Molly from. Okay. Um, and then when you've written your note, you can stick it on. Um, for this, I would probably think about where I want to have it done, where I want to put it. So I kind of want it there. I want it to be there, I think. And so I'm going to cut the ribbon. So when I was out the other day, I spotted some really lovely, um, a lovely idea for decorating um, a present. So what I'm going to do is I've got my label on there. I've got some double-sided sticky tape. Put the label here. I want it to be there. I don't want it to be seen. So I'm going to pop that over the top like that. Peel off the back because the label stays in place. And then I found these. And I just think they look really festive. 
their natural dried orange slices. And I think I got them from Home Gardens, I think. They were like 75 dollars I'm just going to take on. It smells so good. I'm just going to stick it on. And that's my gift to Jordan Molly. And it just looks really pretty. Thanks, pretty gifted. Um, I'll do another one. Just to show it with something else in mind. I have in mind. This. So. As I said, I don't have my amazing wrapper with me. So this is how I watch her do it. And she's, she's so super neat. Um, tape is just the best. Um, it's quite a lot either end. You don't want too, you don't want too much paper at the end because you'll just end up wasting it anyway. And you're better off you're better off cutting it off and using it for a different gift. So I'm gonna go to about there. So it's a good inch or two left. And then I'm gonna look down the other end and have a feel for where. The other inches, um, and I generally just go for it because life is too short, so I can use that for something else, and then I'll get that more central because there's a bit more the other end. And then you just the scissors in and kind of tap where the, the gift is. You don't want to go any lower than that. And then we're just going to cut it's quite good to look inside actually I'm just going to cut it into slices all the way around and for the purpose of this I'm literally just going to quickly fold this in I'm not going to seal this one I'm going to deal with the top first Okay, so I've done that. So that's what I do, just because it's easier then to seal. So again, you're just cutting to make some flaps. Without cutting the actual gift. Um, I think that's probably the perfect size for something like this size, that kind of flap size. Good. And then you're just going to simply push them in to the middle one by one. It creates a really nice pattern. All the way around. Until you get to the end. And then you're going to get your tape. And tape it down. You can do a couple of pieces of tape if you want. But look how neat that is. So neat. Turn it over. Do the same again. All the way around. If you keep it as tight as possible, it's even neater. I didn't do it as tight on the bottom one, but you know, I'm not a pro like Zoe. I'm just learning from her each day. Um, so that I think that's a pretty good effort. I'm gonna give myself some credit there. Now, my favorite, favorite, favorite thing to use is twine. I love wrapping gifts in twine. Absolutely love it. So cut a nice loop. Get it about half the amount of string on both sides. Go across that way. Keep it together. Keep it really taut. And then you fold that around. And then where your string is here, you're going to tuck one piece over the top and underneath. And 
get an offset. So it looks like that. Just so pretty. Um, and then I'm going to do a little bow. Um, so you can leave it like that. You can pop your little label on. Now I'd be tempted with this to take the ribbon off and do the twine. Wrong way around. And use the twine instead. In fact, I'm not going to do the orange on this one. They smell so good though. But, um, So you put it like that then. And you can snip the twine so it looks a little bit neater. It just looks so lovely. And if you, in fact, you could then whack that on. But any way you like. I quite like that idea. But I also like it just plain. feels very festive and lovely. And it says, have a holly jolly Christmas. I love that. And this is a tough one. I don't know if I'm going to achieve this. Have you seen these? Apparently, all the kids want them. Um... It's almost like a weird diamond shape. So I'm going to put that side of the bottom. This is going to be quite a challenge. It probably won't be as neat as the others. So that's my disclaimer. It won't be as neat. I'm going to put quite a bit of tape on. And then I'm thinking how, how should I do this? I love giving people presents. Um, I think it's possibly the best part of this mess. It's me. Handed it over and seen the little faces light up. Um, I'd be quite happy with a, you know, a nice bar of vegan chocolate. That's all I need. And some socks. I'm obsessed with socks for Christmas. Okay, that's it at the end. I've just had an idea for this one. I quite like the idea. I'm going to use the twine again. I quite like the idea of turning it into a bit of a bauble. Leaning it upwards so it's a bit more equal. So you could then hang that from the tree, but I would definitely, definitely, definitely whack on a ribbon. With the tag. And don't be afraid of like snipping excess ribbon away so it looks neater. will just look so much better when you do stuff like that. Okay, so I'm not going to do a bow, but I am. I've got my lunch here. So, like, that looks a little bit messy. 
So I'm going to just do the same as I did before. And also it will keep everything in place, which is quite important too. Um, double sided sticky tape, back on your orange. idea of actually hanging this on the tree as well. Then the third vine. And then doing it with one of George's gifts too. So that we have like some sort of Christmas tree search. I really like that. It looks really sweet. And it smells really festive. You can obviously turn that around if you want just that on the sides as a surprise. Hang it from the tree, ready for Christmas Day. And you can use ribbons and stuff. You don't have to use twine, I just really like the look of it. Um, these are all the rage, aren't they? Got her that little surprise of showboard already. So I'm just going to measure out how much I need. Once again, not an easy wrap by any stretch of the imagination. Look how awkward that is. What have I done to myself without my expert here? Um, so I'm just going to fold over the top. So there it goes. This wrap and paper is really sweet. Every year, I have something that makes me sob, and it's like there's a challenge now. Who's gonna make Kelly cry at Christmas? It's like quite serious. You can see my mom and Zoe like waiting with bated breath. Like, who's gonna make her cry? Um. So this isn't the neatest wrap of the lot. As I said, I don't have my expert with me, so I do apologise. Um, I will try and get her to do some in stories on Instagram but I just wanted to get this out here because I promised pretty gifted because they were so kind enough to share some wrap with us so I am going to be a bit risque and I'm going to show the tape at the top who loves this stuff so you just go so you, I'm going to show you this because it's probably a bit clearer with the red. So start wherever you want to start. I want to go there. And then you go underneath. Swap over. And twist up. And then when you get to the top. This one that's come from the back is going to tuck under and back on itself. And then you tie them together. And it usually works, but this one time I want to show people. It's a little bit messy. This year I feel quite organised as well. Normally I'm I leave the wrap until the last minute and then it, it doesn't always look as how I want it to look. Um this year I feel like, yeah, I'm in control. Um, for this one, I'm literally just going to do loads of ribbon. Because sometimes that is all you need in a gift. And if you're not, it's gone a bit funny, just do that across the bit that looks a bit odd. And it should meet it. Uh, 
Um, I'm going to take the ribbon off again because actually I think it's nice to keep it all very similar. So I'm going to put that through there. Pop it under and wrap it up. Obviously don't forget to fill your card out first or after, whatever. I'm doing mine afterwards because I'm just getting on with showing you how I decorate. I think it's great as well that Pretty Gifted send you the labels so you don't have to think about it. And you've got really personalised paper too. And I also think like it makes you think if you're going to buy a special piece of paper for one person, you're really going to focus in and get one special gift rather than like a million gifts. So I quite like the idea of being a bit more thoughtful, investing in paper, gifts, lovely gift tags, and not not kind of like going for the quantity of quality. Um, I'm going to stick this on. I wasn't going to, and then I looked at it and thought it's going to look lovely. So I'll do it the other way this time. I'm going to stick it on the back of the orange. All right, it's off, it's off, it's off. And then I'm going to stick it on there like that. And that just looks beautiful. And I would be quite happy receiving that. I would just be like, oh my God, Christmas. <laughs> so that's that. That's the end of my little wrapping session. I think I did a few challenging wraps there. Um, it's got to be done. So... These were my ideas, how to wrap stuff, how to decorate stuff. I did go with the same one every time with this orange thing. That's because I've just found it. But you could use pine cones. You could use fresh or fake holly. Um, you could use um, just tons of ribbons. Um, you could just keep it simple. Do brown, like, the, not brown. You could do brown string <clears throat> with the wrap. It looks really nice there. For example. So, yeah. That's my wrap video for you. Hope you liked it and let me know if you enjoy wrapping, if you don't, not this kind of wrapping, this kind of wrapping. Um, and any top tips because I need to improve, but these are just ideas that I had that I thought I would share with you. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.